A similar scenario plays out for other space missions. Everything has to be calculated. For decades, NASA's search for alien life has relied on traditional methods like signals, hands-on data from probes, and space images. However, so far, no tangible results have emerged. The Quantum AI Lab is still a baby compared to its potential. NASA's dream of exploring quantum technology. Now you may be wondering why NASA, a space agency, would be so interested in quantum computing. Why does NASA need a quantum computer? Well, there are many reasons. You see, a supercomputer can literally transform NASA's space exploration missions and processes. Sending probes and astronauts to specific locations in space requires lots of complex mathematical calculations. In fact, before NASA could land the first men on the moon for the Apollo mission, a NASA mathematician named Katherine Johnson had to invent a new kind of math. Everything has to be calculated, considering various factors. One wrong calculation, and you could send a space probe flying in the wrong direction or colliding with an asteroid in space. And so, you see, quantum computers will be a big help in planning space missions, optimizing trajectories, and ultimately improving missions' success rates. Currently, NASA is working to apply generative AI in space exploration processes. But again, these AI may find it hard to tell what's right from wrong, and so they make wrong predictions. Quantum computers are best for doing the complex calculations needed by astronomers and cosmologists. In addition, quantum computers will be able to perform complex astronomical simulations faster and more accurately. This will give experts at NASA more insight into celestial bodies and the inner workings of the cosmic wonderland. Moreover, cryptography, a core component of space exploration, will see a massive revolution when quantum computers are fully launched into the scientific community. But there is one other thing that makes NASA desperately in need of an advanced quantum computer, though. A strange theory has always puzzled scientists at NASA, and the only way to test this theory would be by using a quantum computer. For a long time, NASA scientists, as well as people all over the world, have sought tangible proof of alien existence. Asides from UFOs, UAPs, and other weird stuff, why hasn't there been any real, undisputable sighting of aliens and the planet they thrive in? Well, many in the scientific community believe that the aliens on other planets are using black holes as a kind of teleportation device. This strange theory suggests that the black holes are some sort of advanced quantum computer that aliens use to do all sorts of things, perhaps even travel across dimensions. Black holes have always been one of the most mysterious space entities. These majestic, unforgiving space phenomena can suck in everything that dares to venture into their domain, sending it to the deep abyss in its core. Till now, scientists don't know a lot about black holes, and no one knows if this strange alien theory is true or not. Another thing that makes experts at NASA believe in the need for quantum computers is the theory that aliens could be using quantum communication methods. A study by Jihad Vali and Zaza Osmanov proposes that large-scale computing could be the very thing that could help us detect alien civilizations. If alien civilizations have evolved beyond radio or satellite signals, we may never be able to spot where they are in the cosmos until we employ quantum computers to detect their quantum signals in the cosmos. For decades, NASA's search for alien life has relied on traditional methods like signals, hands-on data from probes, and space images. However, so far, no tangible results have emerged. And so, the agency is set to try things from another angle. Employing the help of both artificial intelligence and quantum computers would be a game-changer. However, the big question remains. What would happen if AI and quantum computing were merged as one? You see, physicist Michio Kaku recently revealed during an interview that the world isn't prepared for what might happen if AI and quantum computing are integrated. On the one hand, AI can create or generate things and bring your ideas or thoughts to reality. But these AI systems have a major limitation. 
they can't differentiate between what is genuine and what is not. Quantum computers, on the other hand, would be able to verify the authenticity of data, including those generated by AI systems. However, Michio Kaku revealed another major fear with quantum computing. But there's the fear of the government seizing advantage of this technology and using it to silence oppositions and contrary opinions. This would most likely be the order of the day if the government gains full control over super-quantum computers. Major tech companies around the world are conceiving crazy quantum computing projects. For instance, IBM, the same company behind the IBM Qubit, is planning to build a 100,000 qubit quantum computer. The company is partnering with the University of Tokyo and the University of Chicago for this project. It would be a super quantum computer, setting the pace for other quantum machines of the 21st century. So far, it's estimated that it would cost at least $100 million to create this magical computer. But IBM isn't the only player in this game. Other tech giants like Google, Nvidia, and Microsoft are also working their way up the ladder of quantum computing. All these tech companies realize the potential that this technology holds. Tech giants are exploring two major aspects of quantum computing. One is gate-based quantum computing, while the other is adiabatic computing. Gate-based quantum computing involves controlling individual qubits in a quantum system to streamline the process and minimize errors. Adiabatic quantum computing, on the other hand, relies on the adiabatic theorem. This sort of quantum computing evolves a quantum system from the ground stayed up. Adiabatic quantum computers are more scalable and solve more complex problems as they evolve. There's a lot of promising potential around quantum computing. From scientific to military and general applications, this technology serves every field and industry. However, it has raised certain red flags recently. These red flags are the very reasons NASA had to shut down its quantum computer until further notice. You see, while quantum computers present many opportunities, they also pose certain threats. One of the major threats is the threat to encryption systems. An ideal quantum computer can hack into secure databases, steal data, and do all sorts of cyber damage. Also, the risk of developing cryptographic systems that are resistant to all sorts of hacking whatsoever has become a national concern. Just imagine a scenario whereby a terrorist creates a time bomb and secures it using a quantum computer. Such a security code will be unhackable even by other classical computers. This is what many governments around the world are afraid of and even consider it a national security concern. Such scenario is called the post-quantum cryptography. It's most likely the reason why the government made NASA shut down its quantum project. Amid all this, you may be wondering, why NASA? Why not shut down every single quantum computer in the world and everyone in development? That's because if anyone can create the next level supercomputer that can unleash the full power of quantum computing, it's NASA. The agency has a long-standing track record of achieving insane and impressive technological feats. Take the James Webb Space Telescope, for example. This single piece of scientific instrument has brought new life to the world of astronomy. Thanks to James Webb, scientists are able to see the universe with a new lens, peer deeper into the cosmos than ever before, and take the clearest snapshots of countless cosmic wonders. Space images from James Webb have thrilled scientists and common folk alike, and all have come to see how much of a phenomenal piece of technology the telescope is. Many experts fear that NASA will replicate what it did with the James Webb in quantum computing. The agency is constantly working to create new tech that would help improve and accelerate the study of the cosmos. It might just develop the next big thing in quantum computing. Surely, as we've mentioned earlier, quantum computers can play a big role in space exploration. NASA is aware of this, which is why the agency is very much invested in its Quantum Artificial Intelligence Laboratory. I'm sure you've heard of the term AI labs. Well, this NASA laboratory is trying to harness the power of both quantum computing and AI. 
The Quantum Artificial Intelligence Laboratory, also called QUAIL, is a collaboration between NASA, Google, and the university's Space Research Association. Currently, QUAIL is housed at the NASA Ames Research Center in California. Although NASA never shared any details as to how much it costs to build this quantum laboratory, experts have estimated that it probably cost hundreds of millions of dollars. That's because building a simple quantum computer alone can cost tens of millions of dollars. How much more a complex quantum laboratory? The QUAIL was the very same laboratory that led to the creation of NASA's D-Wave quantum computer. Costing a whopping $15 million, this supercomputer is still one of the top quantum computers to date. Analysis of the D-Wave performance compared to a classic, modern-day computer showed that the D-Wave was able to solve problems seven times faster. In short, a classical computer would need more than 10 Bowel 7 cores to match the speed and parallel efficiency of Google's and NASA's D-Wave super machine. All in all, NASA's partnership with Google on this project is a very smart and productive move. Google is one of the leading tech giants in the world today, and it's among the top three when it comes to tech innovations. For example, in 2019, the company announced that it had achieved quantum supremacy. It achieved this using a Sycamore processor that featured 70 qubits. Quantum supremacy is a very huge milestone for quantum computing. In fact, it's so huge that some experts disputed Google when it first made its claims. However, the company was able to prove beyond reasonable doubt that it had achieved this feat. By partnering with Google, NASA has been able to leverage Google's expertise in quantum hardware and algorithms as well as artificial intelligence. The Quantum AI Lab is still a baby compared to its potential. With these two companies working together, there's bound to be a groundbreaking breakthrough soon. This is why tech experts like Elon Musk are concerned for humanity's safety and are calling for strong regulation of these technologies. Just imagine sensitive information being hacked into, cyber attacks, and all sorts of digital crime that could happen if the world's greatest quantum computer falls into the wrong hands. Already, we're seeing these issues grow more and more as AI evolution continues. Things might worsen when quantum computing is added to the mix. Quantum computing is a revolution in computer hardware, while AI is a revolution in software. Merging the two without any form of control may just create something terrifying. A quantum-powered AI could end up creating the world's first AI terminator. This is what many experts fear. But is that really possible? Can quantum computing really bring doom to humanity, or will it rather be what sets us on the pedestal to impossible technological breakthroughs? Only time will tell. Thanks for watching. Show your support by subscribing, ringing the bell, and enabling notifications.